lesson, check the description box below in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, uh, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Continuing. Let's begin. So the principle, if we're in standard tuning, which I am here, of this lesson is a way to use our slide to kind of navigate the fretboard in a non scalar way. So the main progression is really just going to be D minor, C major, D minor, C major. So I'm going to start thinking of this shape of D minor, and I'm going to connect it to this shape of D minor, thusly, pinky slide, Dunlop 212. So 7-7. Seven, seven. Hold on, my iPad fell. I guess we can leave it. It's fine. Okay. 7-7. Seven, seven, 10, 10, which, you know, which is, you know, part of D minor here and then D minor here. Now, there are right hand considerations. If I don't block the strings, which is to catch them after I play them, that's what's going to happen. So, thumb catches it, index slides it. Index gets that 10 there, thumb caught that one. It's quite tricky. Let me try and angle this way so you can see my right hand. Very tricky technique there. Even that, if you're not um, used to playing slide, that's a week of work. Getting that smooth. Now notice my vibrato it's not up and down like blues vibrato. It's actually anchored with my thumb and side to side. And also notice my right hand will drop on the strings to stop them. It's all about controlling the overtones with the slide. Now, what we got next is, um, I, I know I'm on part of a D um, minor triad, an A. That sixth fret note there of my B string is an F. That's the third of the chord. Drop down to that D there. So this is, you know, this is from studying George Harrison's slide, the idea that, yeah, we can... We don't have to worry about doing these big swoops and, and um, slides, because th that's what we want to do. Six, three. Now here comes a C chord, so I'm visualizing this C chord here. And that's the idea. So from that D note, that third fret, up to the five, and then watch this hand. Index on that five, thumb on that five, that five again. And I'm like, okay, if that's a C, here's a C chord here. So I'm going to go tag that ninth fret note, that E, on the G string, and fall back to that seventh fret note, which is our D again. So I'm visualizing the chords across the fretboard, which, if you follow my channel, thank you. Um, that's what I do. I, I'm always looking for those shapes that I know. And then I was like, well, yeah, what would be neat if it went to like a, because this is like a spaghetti western style thing, they'll commonly go to a four major chord, so a G. Let's think about why. Here's a G chord. The C shape G. So I'm going to approach that um, B tone of it coming from the A. And then I'm like, uh, let's see if that was this G. That can connect to that G, so I go. Back to a D minor. Let's look at that maneuver again. Notice my slide. I keep him. I don't go past this knuckle here. I don't like to let my slide fall all the way down my funny looking fingers here. I, I like to, yeah, just let him stay like that because look at how my hand can just, it can move a lot easier. Anyway, that's what, that's what works for me. Where am I? Seven, nine, here comes a bunch of 12s with clever blocking. Yeah, it was thumb, index, index, thumb blocking the, the ones that it just played. Slide it, let it fall, because it's dramatic. 
And there we are. Again, I'm seeing this D minor here and this D minor here. So 10, 9, 7. And kind of play around with that. Let it fall because here comes the C chord right here. So that one there, 5 on my G string. And then 5, uh, five 4, th 2, no, wait, 5, 3, 2 on my D string again with blocking index. Index, now middle blocked that one so I don't get... Oof, oof, oof. No, 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 senor, no likey. Gotta block it. And then I'm like, ooh. Because, hey, why not? There's a D minor there. 3, 2, O. Oh. Yeah. And then I do the same thing I did to open it. Here's another D minor. And so I did the same 7, 7, 10, 10. I'm like, well, there's a D right there, you know? There's a D minor there, and I do a little. And let it fall back and go on it again. There you go. I'm always trying to find a way to introduce people to slides. So this one, I was like, let's stay in standard tuning. And let me try and show you that, like, I think one of the main things us guitar players get into trouble with is we put a slide on our finger and we're like, uh, how do I do my pentatonic stuff? How do I do my box stuff? We're always trying to move around in ways that we're used to with our fingers, but not going to work like that. So. What I'm trying to show you is that like, you kind of got to see chord to chord to connect chord to chord. It's like that can work really well in standard tuning slide. And so when I was making up this lesson, I was thinking of that. George Harrison is you know, a big one for me, really good at that chord to chord standard, tr standard tuning slide playing. And then it just ended up sounding spaghetti western, so I just went with that. But it's really about like, put a slide on your finger, don't try and do your blues licks. Try and connect chord shape to chord shape across the fretboard, and then you will, you know, you'll get the, oh wait, can I do it? <laughs> you'll get the thing happening. Anyway, good luck. Silly.